Hello, welcome fellow traders. So welcome to a new video. So in today's video, I'm going to introduce to you uh, FinVis, right, and how you can use FinVis for day trading. Okay, how do you actually incorporate uh, certain aspects of uh, FinVis, right, to uh, make good decisions about what currency pairs to trade. Now, if you do not know what FinVis is, okay, FinVis is a free website, okay, uh, they do have a paid version, but uh, today we just talk about the free features because uh, honestly, that's all you need for now, okay, so just visit uh, finvis.com uh, after this video, okay, to check it out, okay, let me just give you a uh, brief breakdown of what FinVis is first, uh, before I actually go into the specifics of how do you use FinVis to find the best currency pair to trade, okay, I'll give you a step-by-step -step process on how you can uh, use it, okay, so this FinVis, uh, as you can see that this is the home page, Okay, uh, you, what I like about it is that uh, you, you can use it as uh, even for stocks, right? Uh, you can look at uh, stocks, uh, they have a screener, you can fill, uh, filter out different uh, stocks, okay? But in today's video, it's all about Forex, so you can see over here that they do have a Forex as well as crypto, okay? So it's a pretty, um, you know, it's a, this is a heat map, okay? If you trade stocks, uh, this is also very useful, okay? So you can just uh, play around this, uh, uh, performance portfolio insiders uh, forex okay so for forex trading right because uh, this is a forex channel uh, you want to uh, head over to this section which is a uh, forex okay so when you click here what you will see is uh, you will actually see um, this uh, the price quotation okay so what uh, we're interested in is not really this area I mean you can check out what we're interested in is actually the performance, okay? So when you come over to this tab, right, uh, you, look, you are actually looking at the one day relative performance uh, based on USD, okay? You, you have the option to change to the uh, weekly and uh, monthly, okay? Uh, when you do this, you actually want to look at the weekly, okay? I'll explain more why later, but before I do that, let me just uh, give you an explanation of uh, what this is okay so this is actually measuring the uh, relative performance of the USD in the percentage terms okay so how do you uh, read this chart over here okay so in this case because this is relative everything's relative to USD so obviously USD relative to itself uh, USD relative to USD uh, will be uh, uh, not applicable so you do not see anything over here okay so how you read this is actually uh, NZD to USD, okay, so if NZD to USD, that means that uh, NZD to USD has been up 0.51% for today, right, because it's one day relative performance, okay, how do you read this, Aussie, Aussie dollar is up 0.31%, okay, dollar cat is up 0.19%, dollar yen is up 0.18%, Pound dollar is up 0.17% and so on and so forth. Okay, I'm not going to go through everything, but this is how uh, you read the uh, relative performance. Okay. Now, when you are using this tool, right, uh, do not use the daily uh, relative performance. Okay, do not use this. Basically, do not use the daily tab. Okay, why? Because by the time you look at this and use the daily tab, the price would already have moved. Okay. I've been using this tool for I think about three years, right? And I noticed that every time, you know, uh, when I use this tool and I use the daily, it's too late, okay? Uh, when you use the daily uh, relative performance, um, most of the time, uh, it's a, number one, it's too late. Number two is that you're not really looking at a very established movement. So what do I mean, mean by established movement? I mean that a movement that have happened over a period of time, Right, so you want a extended uh, movement, right? Because if you are trying to trade uh, with the trend trade, which you should, right? If you are trying to trade with a trend trade, then ideally you want a more established trend, right? You want a trend that is established in a certain direction, okay? And that is why uh, the first thing I want you to know when you are using this uh, FinVis is to use the weekly relative performance, okay? This is very important. Do not use the daily, okay? Please use the weekly, okay? 
So you can see over here, they also have the Elite, Finvis Elite. Uh, this is not necessary, okay? This is a free tool. Uh, you do not need to use the, the Elite, you just use the free tool. This is good enough, okay? So the first thing to know is that you use the Weekly, okay? I know I'm repeating myself a lot of times, but this is so important, okay? Because if you use the Daily, right, you are, you, you're not going to get very good uh, so-called uh, signals, okay? So the first thing you want to do is you want to shift to the Weekly. Okay, the one week relative performance. So the way you read it is the same thing. Okay, uh, Aussie dollar has been up 1.87% this week. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is look at the weekly. And the second thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you only check out this tool on Wednesday. Okay, you can see the time over here. It says uh, Tuesday, April 28th, okay, uh, 8.35 p.m. Okay, this is uh, EST. For me, I mean uh, GMT plus 8, so it's actually 8.35 a.m. on Wednesday uh, over at my place. Okay, so I'm actually checking this on Wednesday. Okay, you want to be looking at these two on Wednesday, okay, not uh, Monday or Tuesday. Okay, why? Very simple. Because we are looking at weekly relative performance, right? If you look on Monday, then the market has just begun. Right, so the market hasn't established any uh, strong trends, right? The market has just started, okay? So you want to look at this on Wednesday when, you know, kind of like half the week has passed, right? You know, the market has uh, settled in a bit. The market has moved a little, right? You don't want to just look at it on Monday, you know, when uh, the market has just started, there's not much movement, okay? So this is also very important, right? You want to look at this uh, tool at the right time, okay? So if you need to write this down, Right, make sure you write it down. You want to check this on Wednesday. Okay, you can check it on Thursday, you can check it on Friday, there's no issue. But you do not want to be checking uh, this FinVis, you do not want to be checking the one week relative performance on, uh, on a Monday or on a Tuesday. Okay, you want to check this minimally on a Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Okay, Wednesday at the minimum. Okay, so for me right now, I, it's Wednesday, so I'm checking this on Wednesday. Okay, so how do you use this to find uh, the best currency? So it's pretty straightforward, right? If Aussie is the strongest and franc is the weakest, then of course you want to trade Aussie franc. Okay, if Kiwi is the second strongest and franc is the weakest, you want to pair Kiwi and franc. Okay, you can, you can keep doing this, right? You can pair Aussie with franc, you can pair Kiwi with franc, you can even pair Kiwi with dollar, Aussie with dollar, okay? You can even try up to, you know, I mean, look up to Euro, Aussie, Euro, Kiwi, okay? You, you, you don't really want to touch, you know, anything after that, right? Maybe you just want to take the first three, right? The first three. So basically what you're doing is you're just taking the strongest currency, pair with the weakest currency, okay? You want to use that to decide which currency pair to trade, okay? You... You, you must understand that uh, this is just a uh, kind of reference, okay? Do not just take the Aussie and Frank and say, oh, Aussie is the strongest, Frank is the weakest, and, you know, you come to the chart over here and you just, uh, you know, just press the buy button, okay? Uh, this is not how you use it, okay? How you want to use it is you want to use this to plan, right? To tell you which currency pair to trade, okay? Which currency pair you should focus on, which currency pair you want to uh analyze you you want to go deeper in you want to look for opportunities in you come over to for example a trading platform like uh trading view type in aussie frank and look for opportunities okay so this is what you want to do you want to combine for example aussie and frank okay you want to combine kiwi and dollar okay so this tool is very powerful because it will prevent you uh from taking trades which don't move okay what do i mean by trades that don't move for example, if you do not use this tool and you decide to trade an uh, Aussie Kiwi, okay, Aussie and Kiwi. So basically, these two currencies are strong and they are side by side uh, in this uh, relative performance chart, okay. If you take an Aussie Kiwi trade, what will happen is that um, price won't really move, right. If you, if you see it now, you, you won't really have very nice movement because, um, okay, in this case, the chart looks pretty nice. So one thing to know is, so this is not full pro but it's a good uh, indicator, okay? Especially if you are new and you need a good indicator of uh, what currency pairs you trade, then uh, you want to look at uh, this tool, 
okay? But as much as possible, think of it this way. If you can have the best currency pair, the strongest and the weakest, why would you try to trade a, you know, a strong currency pair against a strong currency pair? Okay, it, it, it doesn't make sense. Okay, you want to pair the strongest currency pair with the weakest currency pair. Okay, so last pointer, okay, last pointer before I end off this video is the other way that you can use the relative performance chart, right? This is that you want to uh, look for overextensions. Okay, what do I mean by overextensions? Okay, if Aussie franc is the strongest, it's been trending, right? One way, okay, it's been trending. Uh, in this case, if Aussie is strong and franc is weak, then you are looking at a bullish movement, okay? Overextension means that price has moved significantly in one direction, okay? In this case, it's moved quite a lot. Okay, what you want to look is you actually want to trade the uh you know the pullback, meaning that uh you see that everyone has been buying Aussie Frank, you want to look for weaknesses in Aussie Frank. Means you want to take the counter counter trend approach. You can also use that. Okay, you can use this chart this way. Say oh okay, since Aussie Frank has moved very strongly, then there's likely to be profit taking. Okay, if there's profit taking, then uh, I want to uh, go short. Okay, but then again, you need to come back to the charts, right? You need to come back to the charts and look for opportunity, okay? I cannot stress this enough. You do not just, uh, you know, form idea here and execute it on the, you know, the trade without any uh, trading plan or trading strategy or anything, okay? You can take the idea from here and translate it to the charts, look for the opportunity and you take the trade. Okay, so there's two ways to use it. Number one, you can follow the trend. Uh, in, in this case, Aussie Frank, if you look at the charts, it's still, to me, it's still a very nice uptrend. Uh, I would still be looking to buy, okay? Based on my own trading strategy, I would still be looking to buy, okay? I won't go for the counter trend approach, okay? In fact, if you are a new trader and you're still struggling, right? You don't really know how to trade, you are not profitable, I would encourage you to trade with the trend, okay? Do not trade counter trend, okay? You trade with the trend, you have high probability. If you cannot make money trading high probability trades, what makes you think you can make money trading low probability trades such as counter trend? Okay, so if you are new, I recommend stick to you know just finding the best pair like this. Okay, another quick tip that uh, you can also use is a more advanced strategy. Okay, it's you can see what is currently not moving. Okay, so if you can see over here that uh, as I said, dollar this whole chart is relative to dollar. So dollar, dollar will be uh, zero. It is, there is no comparison with dollar to dollar, okay? So we, we ignore this dollar. So if you can see that Euro and Franc, uh, it, it didn't really move much compared to uh, the rest of the currencies, right? Euro to dollar only 0 0.13, dollar to Franc only 0 0.11, okay? So what you can use is that uh, since these two currencies didn't move this week, right? then there is a probability that since it didn't move this week, it's consolidating this week, then next week, right? Going next week, you can actually look at these currencies to see whether it breaks out of consolidation, okay? So it's also a very powerful way. It's a predictive tool, right? You don't have just have to use it to follow the trend like Aussie Frank to follow the trend, but you can use it as a predictive tool to predict that, okay, so um, this current week, right? 20, this, 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 this week, Euro, dollar, and dollar franc has been consolidating. So after consolidation comes a nice breakout, and I want to actually catch a nice breakout before it happens, right? I want to know when a breakout is going to happen. Okay, so next week, I will focus on uh, this currency pair, euro, dollar. I'll look for uh, breakout opportunities in dollar, uh, euro, dollar, or dollar franc. Okay, that's how you can use it. Okay, to sum up this video, you want to come over to Finvis, okay, you want to switch to the weekly, uh, weekly performance, okay, you want to pair the strongest with the weakest, and then you want to come to the chart to uh, look at um, whether there's any trading opportunities to trade with the trend, okay, you can also look at, uh, you know, counter trend, right, but I don't recommend it for beginners, and lastly, you can uh, use this as a kind of like indicator to forecast uh, maybe next week's movement, uh, what currency pair might move next week, okay? Might move, it's, it's not for a fact, right? But this is a good indicator, okay? So that's it for this video, right? If you are new to our channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, okay? I also have a day trading guide that I prepared for you. Uh, it's free, right? I leave a link in the description, make sure you download it, okay? That will give you a step-by-step -step process of how to trade.
Okay, I give you a step-by-step -step process. This is just an indicator. It gives you an idea of what to trade, but it doesn't really teach you the technical details how to trade. Okay, but in that day trading guide, I give you a step-by-step -step guide. I tell you precisely how to find the entry, where do you put your stop loss, how do you find your take profit. Okay, that's very uh, important. Okay, so do not take uh, whatever I shared in this video out of context and you know uh, start you just uh, blindly buying, for example, the stronger and weakest and just click the buy button. Okay, that's not the way to go and uh, I do not want you to blow your account. So make sure you have a proven strategy. Make sure you download that trading copy uh, day trading guide if you have not. Okay, so if any questions, just comment down below. Okay, again, this tool is uh, fin based. It's free. You can just uh, access it easily. Okay, that's it for this video. Oh,